Jones, some people started off and then went down. Some people eventually got to the top, but Ramsey has been a notable name forever. Yeah. Always good, and always just, solid. So if Foodie Tank's able to take a victory over him, that would be great. He right doesn't now, have a jump. He doesn't, oh. and he does make it back, though. Now, one thing Foodie Tank does have going for him is Ramsey always says how he does not like fighting Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I imagine a player of his caliber definitely has practiced specifically against this matchup for that reason. I mean, he's practiced a lot these days, but to be honest, for a while, those looking kind of bad. Like, his <laughs> record against Diddy's was like, oh, like 2 and 33. <laughs> it's, it's, it's rough, man. Yeah. Oh, now? starting that combo. He actually doesn't go for another up air, but he is now. Is he going to finish him off the top? He Ooh. does. Rimsey with a clean 28% taking that first stock. Playing no games, only 40 seconds into the match. I feel like one of the big things they learned in this match is that you just have to kill Diddy as fast as you can, and he is not playing any games in this character. We saw him maybe play with Spoo a little bit with Zephyr, but with Diddy, because if you don't kill him or get a, as much lead as you can, you kind of end up in positions like these, where you're on the ledge, you're eating a lot of damage, you're just getting trapped, and it's just getting harder and harder to get back. And that was kind of a slight error by Pootie Tang. He opted to go for the banana and give up stage control, and now Rimsy is back, gets his footing, and already starts doing a little bit of damage. He should have kept him on the ledge, whereas where he was essentially winning, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just ended up committing just a little bit too hard, lost that positioning. Ooh, Ramsey trying to end it very early, going for a grab right there, but unscathed at that. Very fortunate for him. Oh, and Pootie Tang literally whipping the punish right in front of him. I think he was kind of afraid to commit hard on that four there. But gets that uh, conversion, though, getting another offstage version, banana in hand. If Pootie Tang actually gets wind of how many grabs Rimsy's going for, a nice roll behind will definitely end the stock very early. I mean, that's true, but who needs grabs when you have conversions like that? Definitely right, and he is just chasing him down. Rimsy relentless on this pursuit. And the movement, though. I'm liking it. He's switching around like high, low, ground, ledge. There's nowhere that you can really be safe against Ramsey, he misses the spike. It's looking like Pootie Tang's safest spot at the moment is actually off the stage. Actually? <laughs> oh, yeah. Down tilt the forward air coming in from Pootie Tang, not quite enough. Very cute attempt right there for the stage spike, but Ramsey just not falling for it. Definitely an experienced player. Oh, let's jump to back air. That was so many options covered by Ramsey right now. Looking so, so good tonight. I'm liking how he's playing. Beautiful, just beautiful is actually the only word I can use. Yeah. Um, he's looking confident. He's looking po like just Rick Poisa, you know, maybe even take this tournament to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah. I can I can see that. And, you know, most importantly, ready for Big House, which is coming up this weekend. Oh, wait, is this weekend already? Yeah, it's this weekend. Time flies, man. Too many tournaments, too little time. Three, uh, corn. Two, one, huh? go. All right, so... Another big thing getting ready for Big House is warming up your secondaries, and that's what Ramsey's aiming to do right now. Uh, his Corrin was looking pretty good last week, but let's see if he can keep that uh, consistency going right now, especially against Pooh King's Captain Falcon, which we saw putting in work earlier tonight. And I'm, it's very interesting that Pooh Tank opted to go for a counter, change his characters, you know, because Diddy does fare very well versus Corrin. Uh, one of the few characters that can kind of go for options and not have to fear the counter. Ooh, that was so smart coming in from Pootie Tang, not flinching when the charge F smash came through, yeah. knowing the exact way to punish it. Just knowing to not blink in that stare down right now. That was great. And actually, it's pretty even right now, too. It definitely is. And both of these characters have very explosive attacks. So it's really up in the air for who's going to take the stock first. Now, one thing that Rumsey does have going for him is that his recovery is significantly better than Captain Falcon's. So if he can't get Pootie Tang off the stage, he might have a chance to gimp him. That's also true, but then both these characters are kind of exploitable in terms of recoveries. That back air actually not sealing out the stock. I'm kind of surprised, too. Kevin Falcon's back air is strong. This is a regrab, though. He doesn't get the punish, and he actually pays for it almost with his life, but great DI coming in from Pootie Tang, not ready to give it up yet. And is that another clutch DI? Not quite enough. You can eat one, but taking two? You're reaching, man. Now, he might be able to get a grab and convert off of it because he doesn't have any rage, so the knockback won't be too far. Um, if Pootie Tang can't get the grab, but right now Ramsey is saying, not only are you not going to grab me, you're just going to eat damage. Already at 38% on its fresh stop. Yeah, just getting walled out. And uh, plus, Pootie Tang's kind of afraid to commit hard to these offstage plays. Korn's recovery is pretty big, but then as Falcon, you kind of have to take those risks to keep up. He's kind of a character who either you win hard or you lose hard. If you play too safe, you'll kind of just lose hard. Definitely true. 
and even there, as you were just mentioning, he actually went for the down throw and he did a retreating forward air instead of actually committing to it. And if he would have committed, he would have connected with it. I'm sorry, a nair, not actually forward air. All right, gets the up air, not enough to take the stock yet. He tries to kind of hulk Rimsy down as Rimsy lands, but he doesn't commit to anything smart stuff because Rimsy was safe. Oh, this could be Ooh. it. Not even sweet spot, that but was enough. So good. Yeah, that, that was, was so good by Rimsy. He, he recognized that Hootie Tang was going to attempt to go to the platform, had the nice stunning ball right there. I'm going to call it a stunning ball. By